Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Of course, I'm here with the cutest boy in the whole wide world, Mr. Ungar. <laughs> yeah. Guess what, Ungar? Today, we're gonna make treats for the birds. We actually have a ton of like native wildlife that's just all over. I see a coyote all the time. I think he actually got kicked out of his pack. <laughs> what is that? You calling me? I'm right here. <laughs> I'm seeing a lot of crows. We have a ton of rabbits, deer. There was actually a female who had a baby this year that I got to watch grow up. I know there must be a male somewhere. <laughs> Otherwise, you know, so. <laughs> anyway, there's a ton of animals. I've seen an owl. There's like been an owl right in my yard, like eating something. I woke up at 2 a.m. looking out the window and was like, what is that? That's huge. A lot of cardinals. They actually steal the meat off of my golf cart all the time. Yep, they eat meat. What else? Oh, thrashers. I see a lot of thrashers. So anyway, all of those animals aren't going to eat what I'm putting out, but I decided we should make like a little garland with some cranberries that I have left over and popcorn. You can use popcorn and give it to birds as a treat. And you have to make sure that there's no oils, butters, salts, whatever. So we're going to do that. I also made some muffins last night for Angada. Do you want to go get a muffin? I made the muffins for you. He fell asleep and I stayed up late and I made muffins. You want to try it? So it's cranberry, so it's very tart. Um, I just really wanted to make muffins last night. I did not have wheat flour. I found buckwheat flour. I did not have plain yogurt. I had vanilla yogurt. I didn't have any baking powder. So I added uh, lemon juice and baking soda and that works as baking powder. I just kept going through all of it. And I eventually was able to make muffins. Aaliyah loved it. I loved it. Doc loved it. Jack did not finish his muffin. I'm just going to say that. Yet. <laughs> what, what was that? Yet. Is it the buckwheat? No. I have eaten <laughs> buckwheat my whole life. <laughs> Nothing ends the cooking. <laughs> Look how much I'm got on doing it. Sorry. I just noticed you didn't finish your muffin. <laughs> I, knew gonna, I knew you were going to say something. <laughs> Did you eat before you came? I did. Okay. That's fine. Well, I'm not Alexa. I wasn't sure. I also actually used olive oil. I'm surprised that turned out really good. What do you think? You want to finish up your muffin and then we'll make some treats for some birds? Do you like birds? You kind of like birds. You like the eagle, huh? You let the eagle land on my head for 4th of July once. That's very you. You don't have to clean up that mess when you're done. Do you like cranberries? Yeah, so the recipe actually called for oranges as well, which I didn't have orange, so I used lime. Because I always have a lime, or a lemon, sorry. I always have lemon in my house. Yeah, what do you think? You're just gonna roll in it? You're just gonna be a big mess? He says, I want tickles and muffins at the same time. Tickles and muffins, tickles and muffins. <laughs> so yeah, they are a little bit messy. <laughs> it's fine. You gonna make this big of a mess with the popcorn? Yeah, the more you dump, the more it falls off of you, all the crumbles. Here you go. Come here. Oh, you just rolled the crumbles again. Come here. Oh, boy, let's get the crumbles off of you. And we'll make more of a big mess, okay? Come here. Let's get the popcorn. So I think we're going to make a couple, and we'll decorate the, some of the trees just right outside the house. And we should probably take some into the woods. So the only thing I recommend also with this is that you use a natural fiber. I guess you could use an unnatural fiber if you were going to go back and get it. But if you're afraid you're not going to go back and get it, make sure that it's something that's friendly for the environment. You know, you could find hemp or something. All right, how long do we want to make this? How good are you going to be at this? That's what I want to know. Big needle. Just sharp enough to get through the cranberry and the popcorn, huh? Have you guys ever done this before? What about you, Jack? I have not. It's a cool idea, though. I bet the birds will eat it. I bet they will. <laughs> <laughs> you don't think they will? Well, I was just saying you didn't. You still didn't eat my muffin. Oh, <laughs> you can put the muffin on a string too out there. <laughs> my mom taught me how to do this. Mom, help! It's hard when there's a fifty-pound monkey shaking you while you're doing it too. Leaning backwards. Yeah, he's a funny guy. Make sure you do some workouts. <laughs> is it falling apart? I think I need to get it better on here. It's all about the journey, okay? It is. It is. And. It's entertaining on Gata, so that's all that matters. So, if you're gonna do this, find something with a single string. <laughs> that may be what I should just do. Like just pull Tear it apart. apart, yeah. So, in this area, it's probably not as much of an issue. 
for birds to find food as like Utah where I grew up or Chicago where Jackie's from. Amen. Yeah, my dad actually, when I was a little kid, he took one of our big metal sleighs. Sleighs? Sleds? What are the round ones? The sleds. Yeah, he took one of those and he nailed it to the back porch and he filled it full of uh, bird seed and we could actually just watch all of the winter birds on, from the from the warmth of our house next to the fire. Are you gonna help? You might not like that. I'm go ahead. Is it good? All right, let's save a few for the birds. You, you crunch the ones you got in your mouth, okay? Let's give it the try again. I know the cranberry will stay. Oh. That's good. Oh, uh, yeah. All right. I'm not just gonna eat it now. <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> All right, birds. so you need to make sure that it goes through like, not where the seed is. Make sure it goes through that kind of meaty part. You guys don't actually have to watch us do this entire thing. 2,000 years later. We finished, but I just saw a ton of Canadian geese. I hope they'll come back. Looking at me. <laughs> come eat the cranberry. Oh, they're looking. <laughs> I'm walking. There's so many. So not even just Canadian geese, but a lot of Canadians come to Myrtle Beach too. Just fun fact. <laughs> <laughs> that is true. We'll have to watch from the window in case they ate it. We don't want any of it to go to waste. We'll show you the finished product. Jack had to help because otherwise it was going to take forever. It was harder than I thought to get the needle through the popcorn. Yeah, that's just an empty bowl. One and a half. We got our garlands and we're out in the woods. We just have to find a good tree for it. How about the one up there on the left? Okay, good myrtle tree. Yeah. This is actually the tree that Myrtle Beach was named after and it's Bubbles' favorite tree. She thinks that's the greatest treat of all time. There you go. I guess you could just like, just loop it in there. A little Christmas gift for whoever finds it. What do you think, Angara? Is someone going to enjoy it? We watched the Canadian geese for a minute. They seemed like they were like, they'd slowed down. I don't know, maybe they maybe they went and ate it. Okay, we're dancing? Oh, that was a nice dance move. All right, let's go find another place to put them. So we're gonna leave that out here. Maybe I'll make it back to check on it, I don't know. We wanna put one at my house so I can check on it. You ready? Let's go. Put it here. And we'll actually see it every day. See how long it takes for them to eat it. I planted this tree, look how big it is. I had no idea. You, no, you don't steal it from the birds. You already had some. We can go get some more treats, okay? That's for the birds. You ready? Yeah, that's for the birds. I can hear them singing right now. They're watching us. You hear them singing? They're right there. I see one. Oh, I forgot about a wren. There's a wren over there in the tree. Okay. So the wrens will probably come over here and eat it too. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video as much as we enjoyed making it. If you haven't, why not? Subscribe, like, comment, and remember, stay wild.